Now today's question, somebody uh, as a little taster for what it will be like, um, I'll just give you the, the bit of the theory now and then uh, we can go a bit more into depth later on. But uh, one of the questions was, how do I hold my ballroom frame in ballroom dancing? And this is also for the women as well as the men. Now, if you have an arm problem with uh, ballroom dancing, you don't have an arm problem. And what does that mean? Well, there's four pillars you've got to understand about dancing. There's technique, there's mechanics, then there's expression, and then there's musicality. Now, everybody wants the musicality and the expression when they dance, right? Everybody wants to have the musicality down, the expression to be in total control, balance and harmony with the music. Everybody wants that. However, we must master our technique and be masters of that, but also understand mechanics. And that is, how does your body move the technique? So in your dance studio you, and your lessons, you would have been learning technique very much uh, about how your feet work. So footwork, feet positions, alignment, CBM, CBMP, rise and fall. All of that is technical requirements for how you do a step or a figure. Beyond that, there is the mechanics of that. How do you hold your body? Like what, what limb are you using? What muscle groups are you using? What are you actually doing to create more power or more control? So there are certain things you can do within the body and the structure to continue uh, developing the technique. And that's why dancing's progressed so much. And in fact, all sport has, if you have a look at tennis or soccer, um, over the last 20 years, 30 years, they go really deep into how the mechanics of the body work uh, with technique. So how do we hold our frame? Well, like I said, you don't have an arm problem, you actually have a hip problem. So what that means is the structure of your body, meaning from the pelvis, through the core, up through the ribcage to the shoulders, is where you have the problem, not in the actual arms. The arms themselves are a byproduct of what's called stacking in the body. So if you're stacking your body effectively and correctly from the hips up, and that's where our posture must actually come from, not stretching the upper body and trying to hold it up like this without breathing for four minutes. If you can feel me on that one, give me a little like or a comment below. But we must have a good base in our pelvis through the PC muscle. We must be lifting up, and that's where our posture actually starts from. And that's where the problems exist when people have an arm problem. Um, and of course, when you start dealing with fixing the arms, you certainly do have to have your arms in the certain position within relation to your spine, within relationship to uh, the height and relationship to the width and the depth with you and your partner. But more importantly, you have to have a structure of good poise, a structure of good um, posture when that begins in your pelvis. So I hope that helps you out. If you do have an arm problem, stand in front of a mirror, practice doing some basic plies, which you can find on YouTube in, uh, as in ballet plies. Um, and as you do that, hold your arms into a fixed position for the length of uh, a song. And that will be a perfect exercise. And then as you're moving through the music and you're dancing around, you can also pay attention to how your pelvis is balanced, where it is in relationship to your body. Is it tilting? Is it going backwards? Uh, and that way you can start to get a, gross, a grip, a grisp, a grip on uh, your uh, postural principles. So look, hey, Ellen, how are you? Thanks for tagging Hayden in this. And hey, Hayden, when you come onto this, uh, awesome to have you. Uh, Georgia just rocked up. What's up, Georgia? You can say hey. Hi. <laughs> uh, we look forward to having you on the uh, masterclass. Make sure you check out the link. We're gonna give you a lot more tips, insights, tricks, and things that'll make you a much better dancer so you can be more happy on the floor, more confident, and love your dancing even more. This is Vaughn, thanks very much.